I'm not gonna be the Dragon Warrior anymore? You will advance to spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Anyone who knows a thing or two about animated movies understands that a combination of awesome kung fu moves and hilarious anthropomorphic animals means Kung Fu Panda is back on the big screen. This time... Inner peace. Keep your surf off my turf! DreamWorks Moneymaker returns from its seven-year hiatus with Kung Fu Panda 4. And from what we can tell, it's gonna be a smash hit. Not convinced? Join us in today's video as we go over everything from the trailer to bits of information online to prove that Kung Fu Panda 4 will be a hit. If you love videos on hit TV shows and animated movies, do us a solid by subscribing to the channel and leave a like after you've watched the video. When word first got out that DreamWorks was knee deep in development for a new Kung Fu Panda film, fans didn't know what to make of the movie. Once I possess the Kung Fu of every master villain, you have a continuation of Poe's legendary story as a dragon warrior and the protector of the valley, while on the other hand, Kung Fu Panda 3 felt like the end of Poe's long journey after discovering other pandas. Most people would have been satisfied if DreamWorks ended Poe's story in the third sequel because it made perfect sense. From learning of the panda's tragic fate in the Valley of Peace to finally discovering that they weren't all slaughtered, Poe didn't have to be alone in the world. His new title as Grandmaster means he could live out his days living in the Jade Palace and guiding his people in the ways of inner peace. Unfortunately for those who preferred that ending, DreamWorks has cooked up a new adventure for a favorite panda. And from the trailer, you can tell it's lots of fun. The two-minute trailer opens with a conversation between Poe and Master Shifu, who informs the panda of the decision to pass on the title of the Dragon Warrior. Not wanting to let go of what made him great, we learn of a new villain named the Chameleon, who has a unique power that sends shivers down our spine. Who would have thought that a shapeshifter would be Poe's most formidable foe in a franchise filled with kung fu masters and weapon experts? All of Poe's enemies have been kung fu masters and tacticians with unique skills and abilities. But the new enemy is a sorceress who has the ability to absorb the kung fu of anyone she pleases. The Dragon Warrior. Who's that? The most powerful shape-shifting sorceress, the chameleon. The frightening part about her power is the fact that dead villains aren't spared as they can only watch as their kung fu is stolen. Seeing Tai Lung being flung back to the spirit world felt great to see, but it's overshadowed by the thought of the chameleon using the absorbed kung fu in her battle against Po. Putting the terrifying nature of the chameleon aside, we see a new character accompanying Po on his journey to a bubbling city. We learn that the character is a nifty fox named Chen. And for most of the trailer, she acts as a kind of sidekick to Poe. While the trailer gives us a lot of info on everything we're going to see in the film, it does its best not to reveal everything to the fans. With the absence of the Furies 5, Chen takes Poe on a hectic adventure to recruit dangerous troops to combat the new threat. And we see that things don't go according to plan. A massive trailer revolution comes at the end where the chameleon confronts our hero, and we see her take the form of a giant evil looking Poe. We can't tell how the chameleon came about this power and how she managed to steal Poe's kung fu, but that unmistakable feeling of dread was all we could feel when she took on the form of the evil panda. And that's not even the best thing about Kung Fu Panda 4. By now, it's not the news that Aquafina will be joining the cast of Kung Fu Panda's Chen, the sly fox, but that doesn't mean there are no more surprises in this martial arts-fueled sequel. The first trailer for the Kung Fu Panda 4 felt strange because it's missing something. And if you didn't realize while watching it, the Furious Five are nowhere to be found while Poe faces off against the chameleon. While being a strange sight, it's no cause for alarm because it was confirmed back in December that the Kung Fu fighting crew will make it to the movie. In previous Kung Fu installments, the Furious Five played crucial roles in the story and Poe's development, but this time they will take a backseat for other fresh characters to show. Chosen to become something more than you already are. <gasps> In the trailer, we
we see how Chen introduces Poe to an army of crooks who try to team up against the panda, but we can conclude that they will be part of Poe's battalion against the chameleon in the final act of Kung Fu Panda 4. While Poe will have to work with sketchy crooks to take down the antagonist, the fans will get close and personal with Han, the leader of the thieves. The movie synopsis describes Han as a sketchy Sunda Pangolin who leads a den of thieves, and he'll be voiced by Kei Hu Kwan. Kwan is no novice in the movie industry, and he will definitely bring his charismatic persona to the role of Han for all to see. Moving on, Aquafina isn't the only prominent voice actress who will make a name for herself in the sequel. And if you have a keen ear, Viola Davis's distinct voice should jump out to you on her on-screen appearance. When it comes to delivering sensational performances, very few people come close to Viola Davis. She can go from starring as a hotshot lawyer who never loses and how to get away with murder to donning the persona of Amanda Waller, ruthless commander of Task Force X. Her range and expertise as a seasoned entertainer makes her the perfect choice for diabolical villain hellbent on destroying the dragon warrior. While it isn't explicitly shown in the trailer who will be the next dragon warrior, it's a no-brainer that Aquafina's Chen will earn the title of the protector of the valley. We all remember the thrill of watching a clumsy panda learn kung fu after being chosen as the dragon warrior. Now the tale has come full circle, and Poe will pass on the mantle to his successor. No matter how you look at it, the millions of moviegoers who grew up loving the Kung Fu Panda series know what it means to see Poe move on from that role that made him so iconic. Stand back. I'm gonna kick my butt. It's an emotional journey that anyone who understands the lore should get, and this is one of the major reasons why we believe Kung Fu Panda 4 will be a hit. The other reason why the sequel will be a massive hit has to do with its release date. Unlike other big-name movies that get slated for holiday releases, Kung Fu Panda 4 will come to theaters in early March. There is nothing better than waiting a few months to watch your favorite movie and the geniuses at DreamWorks and Universal get it. It's not enough to produce a good film. They had to find the perfect opportunity to showcase it to the fans, and they couldn't have picked a more perfect time. With other blockbusters like Doom Part 2 and Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, March is going to be a wild month for moviegoers. So, adding Kung Fu Panda 4 to the mix makes the month significant for moviegoers all over the world. With a compelling story, a genuinely fresh villain, and strategic release date, we just know Kung Fu Panda 4 will make a killing at the box office. From what we can tell, 2024 feels like an exhilarating year for movies, and Kung Fu Panda 4 is poised to be one of the big winners of the year. Whether you're a Kung Fu Panda faithful longing to see Poe on the big screen or an everyday moviegoer who is looking for something interesting, Kung Fu Panda 4 should be on your watch list for 2024. What are your projections for Kung Fu Panda 4? Will it be a huge success like its predecessors, or will the sequel not live up to the hype? Let us know in the comments below.